Hello and welcome back to some more Don't Starve. We are back with the Librarian on day five. Uh, we are having a... Supply-wise, we're good. We have no issues. In fact, I am probably excessive on some supplies for the moment. Come on, little fire. Go out. I need your ash. Put in my ash collection. There we go. So, our two big issues that we're having is we need a few more flowers. We know that there are some this way. Because there's a butterfly. And we need to find somewhere vaguely appropriate to camp out. The first one is being taken care of naturally. Flowers, we're coming across them slowly. The second one... We're having a little more problems with. We keep getting roads. Which is good. We like roads. Unfortunately, most of my roads are not actually connected to anything. Lots and lots of carrots. I mean, you can see we're having no issues with supplies. Our big issue is... Well, the berries, you could say, but... Uh, that's just because I've been using them for most of my food. Because I'm collecting just enough carrots to prolong the life of my food a little farther. So, in that case, whoa, bees. I haven't had any bad incidents with bees yet. Give me time. I'm sure I can. All right. Um, well, I really have two choices here. We can go plunge through that wormhole, or we can try these other areas. Um, there is this area back here, too. I just keep running out of water. Uh, eh, we will... I'm out of flowers. Nine. See, I really hate taking any flowers from this area at all. Just simply because of the bees. But I am just getting to the point where I'm not going to be near anything. That's a little bit frustrating, because you really want to be as close to a lot of things as possible. So, we are going to get a move on, and we are going to head up that direction. And, uh, I think we're actually going to, we're going to take a plunge here. Me and Chester may have to build up a little extra brain power later, but my roads don't connect to anything, not even each other, and most of these directions I hit water pretty fast, so I think we are in an area where we might be, it may be beneficial to jump through this portal. Alright, um, probably not very beneficial. There's something to be said for the fact that we know where it goes. Oh, I guess we're going to chop that tree down. That's interesting, by the way. I was clicking out here. It's just chopping on its own. So, apparently, if you run into it... it yeah, that's This is one of those games that I really feel is going to have like a lot of... Uh, a lot of real emergent behavior, and, and people love to throw that... Well, not, not a lot of people. It's a term you hear used to describe game mechanics, and in this particular, this particular game, I, th I think there is probably going to be a lot of that sort of thing, where just random oddities that happen uh, are a, a factor of how, the, how fun and interesting the game itself is. Yeah, we've completely stripped this area of things... This tiny little biome here. Alright, so... We could go up here, or we can go down here. My money's gonna be on down here. Of course, I've been known to be wrong. A lot. Bees! There's bees here. It's also a road. Very short road. We're not taking the road very far. We're just taking it as far as we can. Nope. Mine. Alright. Yep. 
so what we will do here is we will run around we will take these seeds I don't really need any gold at the moment so I'm going to go straight down uh, save myself the loop and hopefully find something like beefalo beefalo would be fantastic okay this is it feels like the game is just straight up oh well, that would be one moment where crockpot cooking would be nice, or finding some pigs. Uh, you'll notice my uh, my jam has started to turn. Stale roasted berries. We're just gonna cut a interest a little bit of a diagonal path here, and kind of looking for whatever we happen to find. Um. Hopefully, hopefully the area will open up a little bit here. Maybe we'll get a road. I'm not going to guess that that's going to happen. Now, sometimes you'll run into a world that's doesn't quite have all, everything you need. I've actually had a world, well, I mean, you guys just saw my last one. It took me three, four, three or four days to find Flint. Um, it's it, it's one thing I will say about the game. It, it's there's times you're just there's times the game basically has the, the, has done the equivalent of saying nope, you're not gonna survive. Sorry, we didn't roll that way today. You didn't actually intend to survive, did you? I mean, you can still struggle for a bit, but it's not gonna happen. I don't know if I would say that's a bad thing or a good thing. I think um, in the case of this style game, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not necessarily the end of the world that sometimes it's just going to step on you and say, no, sorry, you're not going to win. Not today. Probably not tomorrow or the day after either. Um, there's something to be said for a game that it doesn't cheat on your behalf because that's a lot of a lot of games out there really do cheat on your behalf and, and, and it's it's one of those things in game design that's it's not baffling it's understandable why they do it um, they do it because you want the player to feel powerful doing whatever it is that they're doing Alright, I should not stand quite so far away from the fire. Let's go ahead and eat these roasted berries. And let's... Uh, let's go ahead and roast some seeds. Oh, no, no, no. Roast the seeds. Roast the seeds. So far, this is... Um, This has actually been a good, solid amount of stuff that we've just gotten. Uh, 135, close enough. But not a lot in the way of suitable campsites. But we're going to... Only one way left to go, so... Alright, that fire is going to take a little bit to go out. Oh, I have Ash to give him, too. So what we'll do is we'll gather some stuff over here. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Chester, Chester, Chester! I remembered it. I knew I would forget, but I remembered it. Alright, petals, we need two more. I wish I had a shovel, I'd be digging those up, but eh, it's fine. Right now they're actually coming in handy because they're showing us where we've been. And I'm... Well... It's gonna be interesting. 
going to be interesting. So... What can we do? What can we do? Um, we can always roast a couple more berries. Inevitably, if we try to cook some food, that will cause this fire to go out. See? Alright, we have plenty of ash, so I don't think we'll be stopping for the campfire much more. At least for the moment. I mean, we haven't really needed it, but... Given my propensity to dying to stupid mistakes involving spiders, mostly. The easiest thing to kill in the game. Probably not a bad thing to have the ability to start working out some healing on that. Oh, wait, well, no, 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 no. Not, not, not really anything that way either. You, get off my seats. Arr. I will get you next time, sir. Yeah. This is... I don't know what to say about this run so far. It's, it's on the one side, extraordinarily good. I mean, we've got... The minute we find camp, we've got crockpots. We've got everything, because I already have picked up a bunch of stuff for them. But we have to get there. And thus far, it's been terrible for finding camp. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess I'd like to say it's going well, and again, with the ooh, sanity not doing so well. No, 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 we don't want those kind of flowers. We want regular flowers. That pig has got to be insane by now. Alright, let's get some berries... Alright, I'm going to have to grab a flower. I don't have a choice. We're going to leave that one. It's right next to the hive. We don't want to take that. Away, away from my seeds. Hopefully there'll be a flower up here. Hopefully. There's grass over here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm walking the outside. Because if I walk the outside, eventually... I will find the limitations of this area. There's a flower. That's the flower we need right there. Alright, perfect. We would like the garland hat. Thank you. Librarian is now regaining sanity. Which is the nicest thing I can say about our day six so far? Well, at least we are regaining sanity, though. I mean, I do need it. Oh, this is spectacularly not working so far. I know, I know, light will be here soon. A garland hat does spoil, and it does go away after a while, but it's really not that bad. Plus, it's really kind of just a stepping point while you're getting things like silk together to make a top hat. Generally, making a nuisance of yourself to the wildlife in the quest for more clothes. Because clothes now has durability, too, which is a completely new thing. I just... I'm assuming it's durability for while you're wearing it, and not durability while it exists, because that wouldn't make any sense. Um, I haven't actually built... Well, I was almost... I actually had almost everything ready to build the top hat last time. Last time I played, and... Then a giant tree killed me in the middle of the night. Them as the breaks. So, you know, the worst part, though, is day six, day, 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 around day eight, day seven, day eight, 
is usually when you get your first pack of hounds, and that's why I'm kind of hoping to find something relatively soon. Where are we? Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we just keep doing this. Keep walking that outside. This is some... Um, this is interesting because it is so remarkably... Okay, so we don't even need to do that. We can just cut straight across here, which I'm 99% sure is going to be cut off. But uh, I, I want to walk everything. If I walk everything out all around it, then I know where I haven't explored, so... I mean, obviously, I know where I haven't explored, but uh, the 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 reasoning is then I know how much of the interior I need to explore, and I can at least save myself a little bit of time there because I don't at that point have to walk across every square inch of it. Uh, eventually, I'm sure you're going to want to have most of the map explored and uncovered, but at the moment, uh, when you're at this point, you want to get your your you want to get your little uh, humble abode set up, you, you definitely want to get uh, as much of the map open and exposed as possible because otherwise you don't necessarily know... Oh god, oh god, oh god. <gasps> oh, you know what that sound is. That's some beefalo noise. Alrighty. Day six and we hear some beefalo. That is a... Fantastic thing. All right, I'm going to cut that off right here, and that way you guys don't have to watch me stand around a fire and cook. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you will come back for the next one, and have a great day, everyone.